My name is Sam Hoadley. I'm the manager of Word Cultural Research here at Mount Cuba Center. Today, we're going to be talking about the Amsonia Research Report in our trial garden. So behind me, we have the 20 different accessions of Amsonia that we looked at over a 10-year period. We were mostly looking at these plants from an ornamental perspective. We were looking at spring flowers, great clean summer foliage, and some of them even develop exceptional fall color. So one of the biggest takeaways about this trial, these are all great garden plants. A lot of them just have different sizes and features, which might make them better suited to certain landscapes or conditions. While we did primarily focus on the ornamental features of the Amsonia trial, we did do a pollinator observation in 2023. One of the exciting things that we did see is that the snowberry clearwing moth is actually using Amsonia as a host plant in the trial garden and other places at Mount Cuba Center. So it's providing more than just pollinator value to wildlife in this area. Amsonia can sometimes be challenging to identify. Our research report talks about some of the key ID features that can make identification a little bit easier, and it sheds some light on one of the most commonly available blue stars that you can pick up at your garden center today. So without exception, Amsonia are long-lived, durable plants that deserve a place in almost any landscape. Download the entire report for free by visiting the Mount Cuba Center website today.